Hey all right guys and girls, welcome back to another quick video of the Sony Xperia 10. I'm recording this I believe in 4K and this is the H265 codec. So hopefully YouTube can read this codec here. So this is just the Ferrari FXXK2014, it's a little miniature car version. Um, of all my collection, car collections I'm collecting at the moment. And as you can see, this absolutely looks amazing. The actual detail, which they actually... So let's see if I can focus this in a little bit. Look at that, look at the tyres on those. And the detail of it. Uh, and then there we go, that's the FXXK 2014. Now as you guys and girls, by the time I've uploaded this, um, or oh, actually uh, put it on the internet um, for you guys and girls to watch, this will be my birthday today. So I'm just checking out the light that comes with the actual phone and camera built in it's a 4k camera uh, it's got two cameras one I think for the photos on the front which does up to I think it's like 13 megapixels not 16 I think because I said 16 but it's actually 13 megapixel camera yeah megapixel and as you can see the the coloring is really good on it as well Let's have a look around here. Let's have a look on the front. Look at that. That's just beautiful. I'm keeping it in this case because I'm starting to take out some of these ones, but not out the case because uh, I'm keeping it in this like sort of plastic container. I might put them on the shelf at some point in these containers. I'll just stay there. That'd be nice. It comes with the book. Tells you a little bit about the uh, Ferraris, the FXXK2014. I'm collecting these because I'm finding these absolutely lovely. And it's got the number 88 on there as well, as you can see, 88. And I'm just basically showing this, but also um, show you the, the quality of the camera and also the, uh, the light it comes with the camera. Uh, with the phone, I should say, because this is the Sony Xperia 10, uh, which my mum's got me for my birthday. But I'm just doing some quick uploads of the quality test on it, just to show you guys and girls what the camera is. I'm going to do some still images with it, because apparently it's got bokeh with this as well. Or got like um, it's got a setting where you can set it for bokeh you can set it for I think like outdoor settings you can actually go into manual mode and change some of the settings not all of them like the focal uh, length and the uh, I wouldn't say the, the ISO because I don't think there's an ISO setting for it uh, they should bring it into it though because this would be awesome but I heard that Sony are actually making another camera phone soon which is going to be over I think a hundred plus megapixels in it which will be awesome and I th think right maybe they could be using the alpha technology as well for their um, ops um, what's it called optical steady shot um, or image stabilizer where it's really good for stabilizing images now with this um, phone I've got here comes with the 64 gigabyte but apparently um, there's a memory card slot so you can actually slot in 512 gigabytes of storage it's a micro SD card uh, got my network uh, open free so you can put any SIM card in it got this from Argos absolutely wonderful wonderful uh, phone and I've noticed as well when you're recording in this as well I don't think when you pass five minutes it shouldn't turn off 
like it does with the Samsung Galaxy phones where you can record five minutes of sort of 4k footage and that's it it uh, turns off in this one it's past five minutes now it's five minutes and 15 seconds um, but yeah if you want to start recording thoroughly in 4k do get a 512 gigabyte I don't know if you can put a terabyte in there or something like a micro SD card um, or fast card um, if they're when they're out there might be like a storage thing on it but yeah it looks good though 13 megapixel for a phone is okay-ish but yeah the new phones coming out apparently they're gonna have a, over a hundred um, megapixels over a hundred I think 136 megapixel cameras uh, so that's crazy look at that look at the detail on this guys and girls anyway so by the time I've uploaded this um, look at the rear the the rear bumpers at the back and then you've got the actually I don't know if, um, thing is the only problem I found with this is when you're zooming in when you're zooming in sort of too close you can see it start graining uh, so let's show you this it starts graining a little bit goes up to five times I think so we're at five times but you can see look at that grain in it it's really grainy now I'm trying to find out if how to put the HDR on because apparently it says it's 4k and it's HDR but I don't know if the HDR is actually to do with the camera only or if it does it with video as well because this would be actually thing. I'm gonna have to go through the settings and have a look but I'll do an unboxing sort of uh, video for this for the camera and actually you can get um, if you want to like sort of optical um, camera you can add like an extension thing with it one of those like little sort of camera zooms uh, we can just clip onto your phone and you can get an extension on it so you really don't lose any quality so it's like a telescope little teeny teeny tiny little telescope to put on it so that's pretty cool anyway let us know in the comments below guys and girls what you think of the quality on this because this I might uh, do some blogging when I'm out and about easy and all of that um, which actually looks absolutely amazing with the the colors there look at that the beautiful colors anyway cheers for watching guys and girls it, it will be at the time of this video, it will be the 17th of March 2019 and it will be my birthday pretty much, well at the moment it's the 16th, it is, I'll tell you what time it is, it's Saturday 16th of March, it's 11.23 at the time of this video guys and girls, but anyway, I've been Anthony Kenneth Bishop, just showing you my little uh, sort of Ferrari FXXK. 2014 absolutely looks awesome uh, in 4k also they've got um, a slow motion uh, mode on it as well so you can record in slow motion but I don't know what it does if it takes away the quality on it I'm pretty sure it probably does so you can record in 120 frames per second but I suppose you'll be sacrificing your quality so I will have to do a video of that at some point as well Anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Maybe do another unboxing of these ones as well. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon, guys and girls.